Hear ye, hear ye. Let it be known on this ninth day of February in the year of 2019 that any and all Democrats who support Alexandria occasionally all their Cortez's Green New Deal should step forward and start the Green New Deal now for yourselves. Don't take the plane, take the train. Retrofit all of your campaign offices to come into compliance with what the American people would see and perceive to be the Green New Deal is all about. Show us, lead by example. Cory Booker, do not fly to your campaign stops. Cory Booker 2020 for president. Don't fly, take the train, Cory Booker. Agree to take the train, uh, public rail, whatever you call it, to all of your campaign stops across the United States of America. And that goes for you too, Elizabeth Warren, and anybody else that supports this Green New Deal. Show us. Show the American people. Stop eating beef. Stop drinking milk. Stop it already. No milk for you, Alexandria. Occasionally all there, Cortez. No milk for you, Cory Booker, that bald-headed oracle who's trying to tell me what kind of vehicle I can drive. Do not drink the milk, do not eat the beef, retrofit your campaign offices and show me what it means to go green and then show me how that's having an impact on the environment. Don't tell me what to drive, you bald-headed puke. Alexandria, occasionally all their Cortez. Make sure that your tampons are only made by a company that is 100% using renewable resources. If not, it's time for you to pull the plug, period. You see what I did there, huh? There's nobody over there. Alexandria, occasionally all their Cortez. Demonstrate to me how you're going to influence Putin to sign on to your Green New Deal. How are you gonna do that, ma'am? Hey, Cory Booker, demonstrate to me how you're going to get China to go along with your Green New Deal. I understand, whoa, 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 Steve Spell. If everybody doesn't do it in the United States of America, it won't work. Well, guess what? Everybody's not gonna do it in the entire world. Putin's not gonna go for this. China's not gonna go for this. Of course they're not gonna go for this. You're gonna put this country at such a, a, at such a tremendous disadvantage in this global economy that you're gonna bankrupt the United States of America and you're gonna do nothing to save the environment. This, I, I characterize this Green New Deal as a war on small business. You can't expect for small business owners like myself to go out there and retrofit all these buildings that we're leasing and renting. Are you kidding me? We can't afford to do that. How are you gonna bring us into compliance? Are you gonna use armed men? Are armed men gonna come to my place of business and make sure that I'm going green? I don't think so. I'll drive my gas guzzling vehicle if I want to. Get on the train and get off the plane. Retrofit your campaign offices to go green. Show us what this Green New Deal is all about. And as a matter of fact, the Democrats control the Congress. So take the House of Representatives and make that whole building completely green. Show us what you mean. Go green. Don't eat beef in the Congress. If one Democratic senator or one Democratic congressman or woman is eating beef or drinking milk, shame on them. Shame on them. All Democrats that believe in the Green New Deal should lead by example and show the American people exactly what the Green New Deal is all about and they should go green today. Don't wait for legislation, start now. This Green New Deal is an attack on the farm industry. This Green New Deal is an attack on people who sell beef, who peddle in meat. Don't mess with the people who peddle in meat. You people are trying to ban cows? What about Michelle? Leave Elsie alone, damn it. Hey, Cory Booker, is this the dairy best you can do? I don't think so. Hey, Alexandria occasionally all there, Cortez. Where's the beef, sweetheart? Get off the plane and get on the train. I'm not gonna have a 29-year-old girl who's not even old enough to become president, by the way, tell me what I can and cannot drive, tell me where I can and cannot fly to and what type of vessel I can use. I don't think so. Lead by example and show me the way. Well, Steve Spell, it's not fair if the president flies around to his campaign stops and we can't. That puts us at a disadvantage, exactly. And that's what you would be doing to the American people, putting us at a huge disadvantage with the rest of the world. You pencil neck, numb nuts, scrubocrats. You Democrats are scrubbing the economy. You're breaking the backs of the American people. Back off, I say. What say you?